guys, it's Carolyn with Crafting with Wine, and I'm going to share another two page 12 by 12 scrapbook layout. And I wanted to share the paper stack that I mostly used is Die Cuts with a View Fairy Tale Floral. I love this stack, and I probably have about half of it left now. So I wanted to share that. <clears throat> I got a 12 by 12 piece of the pattern the cardstock that came out of that stack. And then I have this pretty blue that's got some butterflies and different things in the background and you know, flower sprigs. And this came from a different stack and I was trying to use it up and I, I have now. <laughs> so I have thrown it away and it's already out in the trash. The, the stack that it came from. So, and it's cut at 11 and a half by 11 and a half. <clears throat> now, I have had this one I've designed in Cricut Design Space for for probably two or three months now, and I finally cut it all out a few days ago, and I have decided to uh, put it together now. And what I have here is grass or hills and hit this comes from the Cricut cartridge my quiet book and it has a fence in it with it so I took the fence away I didn't want to use it this time and then I just duplicated it and the large dark green um, piece is cut at 11 and a half by 6 and then I squished down the light green piece and it's cut at 11 and a half by 3 and a half and again, it comes from my quiet book. And then I'm going to place this down here. Now, I have a photo mat that is cut at four and a half by four and a half, and the light blue layer is four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and it will hold a four by four photo. And I'm going to put it right up here. Now, all of my other images comes from just one Cricut cartridge, and it's Kate's ABCs. And my title is cut at 6.89 inches by 3.5 inches, and it's called Girlfriends. And I am going to use a little bit of my ATG gun here on the pieces that I can, and I'm going to use my Ranger Multi Matte Medium Wet Glue for the letters. And I'm going to kind of angle it right here. <clears throat> then my next image is a butterfly. And my butterflies were grouped together with uh, three butterflies and a little dragonfly. And what I have done is that I left them grouped together and then I cut them as the four group at 3.86 by 3.11. And I'm going to put my butterfly right up here. And then at this point, everything is paper pieced together. The only thing that I didn't paste, paper piece together but did print and cut on are these little flowers. 
and I didn't, they were many layers, and I was being lazy and didn't want to spend all the time gluing those down, so, or paper piecing them together, so I used print and cut, and my uh, flowers are cut at 2.35 by 2.86, I'm going to put this one behind here, let me get my spatula, right there. And I'm going to pop this one up a little bit here too because I have another flower that I want to put there. The exact same one, same dimensions with the cut. behind my grass field there <clears throat> as well. Then I have another one that I'm going to put down here. Right there. And then I have some little mushrooms and the mushrooms came in a set of three the small medium and then I have some larger ones and I cut these together at a group at 3.58 by 2.64 and I am going to place these down with some wet glue And these are all little paper, or all paper pieced together too. Put those right there. And now my next image is the house that I've cut. And it's cut at 8.73 by 7.27. I'm going to lay it down flat. Right about there. And then my next image is my little water can uh, full of flowers. I have it popped up on foam tape. And this is cut at 4.60 by 5.05. And that's not right. I gave you the wrong dimensions. My watering can is cut at 2.22 by 2.57. And it's popped up on foam tape. And I'm going to place it right down here. And then my next image is my little girl in her rain um, hat and boots and coat. And she's carrying an umbrella and she's got a little bunny here. And she is cut at 4.60 by 5.05. .05. And I'm going to lay her down flat too right here.
then I have some little extra flowers that I'm just gonna glue down. And then I have it a little teeny, tiny, tiny, tiny dragonfly. It's probably about a, a quarter of an inch in diameter. I'm going to put it right there on the chimney. <clears throat> then I have another little butterfly. I'm going to place right about there. And then I have another little butterfly. I'm going to put it right there. And then I have one more butterfly. Let's see. I think I'll put it right there. Coming together real quickly, real easily. It just took a long time to cut it out. <coughs> so that finishes this side of my layout. So I'm going to move this to the side. And then I have the exact same layers for my next side. And I need to get my grass here. i got all my other images laying on top of it. Let's cut and put together the exact same way. I had someone request that I do a layout with Kate's ABCs. And I think I remembered to tell her that I had one design and would be putting it together. So I hope you enjoy this layout using this cartridge. Now I have another photo mat that holds another 4x4 four four photo cut the exact same way at 45 x 45 Put that one right there. And then I have another photo mat that will hold a 4x4 four four photo. I'm going to put it right there. Then I have more flowers. I'm going to put that one there. I'm going to put that one right there. My dog, my puppy dog, is behind me sleeping in her little bed and she's snoring. So I don't know if you guys can hear her snoring or not. It's pretty funny. And I'm going to put this one here. Right like that is what I'm going to do. So she's decided to bark now. So we'll see if she shuts up in just a second. Gremlin, it's okay. And then I have a little robin bird with her egg, 
and I've got her, uh, her cut at 4.43 by 3.05 and I am going to lay her down flat. And I'm going to need a little bit of wet glue too. up here on top of my picture frame. And then I have the little kitty cat. She's cut at 3.95 by 2.80. I'm going to lay her down flat. right there. And now I have the little girl pushing the baby carriage and she is cut at 7.49 by 5.25. She came out so cute. And then I used uh, um, Nouveau Drops in the center of the flowers here on the gra grass and in the center of the little flower on her pocket too. Putting her down here. Just pushing the little rabbits and got a little rabbit hopping after her. It is so cute. And then I've got some large mushrooms and um, a medium one and a small one that I'm going to lay down. there. I'm going to put the little pink one here. And then the other little orange one. I'm going to put right there. And then I have this one, the larger one. Then I'm going to put right about here. And then I had some leftover little flowers that I'm going to put down. And then I have butterflies, a lot more butterflies. So let's see here. That one there. I think I'll put this one here. Put that one there. And I've got this littler one that I'm going to put it right here. Then I have one more of the little dragonflies, too. that I'm going to put right about there. And this is a larger one, so I don't think I'm going to use it. I'll set it to the side and use it on another project at another time. And so, I think the layout turned out super cute. I hope you guys do too. 
and it feels good to use up some of those uh, paper stacks that I've had for a while. So, thanks for watching and spending a little time with me. I really appreciate it. Cheers.